early 1900s, the creation of x-rays and the use of it in medicine enormously changed how patients were diagnosed and how the anomalies were found. Up until this point, uh, the only way to see in the internal structures of the body was to do surgical procedures, which at those times, of course, carried a lot of risk with it. So patients often died of infection. So the advent of x-rays in medicine was a, a huge, huge step in a positive direction. There are projections for a future increase in career opportunities in the field of diagnostic imaging. Today, the field of medical imaging includes various diagnostic techniques and modalities, some of which do not include ionizing radiation. So we've gone beyond, far beyond, with CT uh, using ionizing radiation. However, ultrasound does not, MRI does not. And with each new advancing technology that comes out in the scientific community, we apply that to the medical imaging community, and we have these branches beyond anyone's imagination when Rentkin first started. So it's pretty exciting to be in the field. We see changes all the time, and you never get bored. The technologist utilizes modern digital technology to create images in the radiographic facility or in emergency rooms, surgical suites, and at the patient's bedside. Some technologists choose to be employed by mobile companies and cover large geographical regions in vans equipped with sophisticated diagnostic equipment. As a radiologic technologist, you basically have to go through coursework, in school, and a bunch of clinical experience training. After that, um, graduates need to sit for their board exams at state and national levels. Once they've graduated um, and passed their certification, they can work in a variety of healthcare settings, most often acute care centers like hospitals, doctor's offices, and outpatient imaging centers. RTs do a variety of really interesting things. They work in endoscopic studies, they work in angiographic studies, injecting dye into the bloodstream and the vessels of the body. Um, they work in the emergency room. Oftentimes they're in the OR doing hip pinnings and rotting uh, for broken bones. They also do um, contrast media studies involving fluoroscopy, which are real-time x-rays, kind of like a movie. Really fascinating stuff. Basically, this is a job where one will never be bored. Today's radiologic technologists can be involved in many more complex imaging procedures, such as cardiovascular imaging technology, bone densitometry, mammography, angiography, CT, MRI, to name a few. Things are advancing all the time, so I can't imagine what's next. Medical imaging is a magnificent addition to the world of medicine. Radiologic technologists are never exposed to the primary beam, but will receive a small amount of secondary exposure within the occupational dose limits established by the government. Both technologists and students are carefully monitored for any radiation exposure received, utilizing individual state-of-the-art monitoring devices read monthly by specialized labs. Exposure is minimized by the use of lead aprons, gloves, and other shielding devices. It's really fascinating to be an RT. You really get to integrate your critical thinking skills with complex equipment and patient care. Super gratifying being able to help patients while using science and art to create diagnostic images, getting the maximum information without harming the patient with radiation. It's really interesting work. The changes today in regard to the growth of radiologic specialization and in general diagnostic imaging are projected to move in the direction of upward and lateral mobility. It is a growing and expanding profession. There are many advancements that are going on and I think the best way to think about medical imaging is that its analogy is like a tree and as the tree grows it puts out branches. And as medical imaging has grown from early x-ray film technology and new modalities have come forward, what has happened is we've branched out into MRI, ultrasound, CT. And so the possibilities are endless. People can keep learning all the time. One never gets bored. And uh, it's just a great field to be in. For more information on radiologic technology, visit California Department of Public Health Radiology. 
For more information on the radiologic technology programs offered by Guernic Academy of Medical Arts, visit medacademy.org.